What's up guys, it is Tyler, back once again with another Assassin's Creed Odyssey video. This time, not, not a scripted one, just me sitting here chatting, talking and commentating over some free roam gameplay that I recorded when I visited Ubisoft Australia in Sydney last week. And uh, I just picked a little section here where I do a couple of things that, you know, obviously there's no story spoilers. And it was at the end of my time playing where I wasn't really focusing on any of the story quests. I'd kind of had enough in terms of like I wanted to save it for when I actually play the main game. And I just got to the position where I could kind of do a bit of more free roam and just visit locations. So... Uh, I wasn't up to the story point where you come here yet, but I was like, I'm just going to come to this location, check it out, kind of see what other stuff and other locations and new features I can find, and end up doing a uh, try to infiltrate a fort that's a bit too high level for me, but uh, I attempted anyway, uh, and as well do a little bit of na show a little bit of naval at the end here, and I'm not sure how uh, much footage is out there of these sorts of locations because I'm not really watching anyone else's Odyssey coverage because I'm, you know, doing my own thing over here on Tynamite. And uh, if you're sitting here like Tyler, but I just want to watch gameplay as it is, well, I'm sorry. Uh, lots of channels do that, but you're going to have to deal with my, my voice, unfortunately for you. Uh, something I noticed straight up is I do love some of the ambi uh, ambient music throughout this as you see I kind of I dig that Greek sort of music vibe I, I dig it I like it a lot so heading up to a fort here yeah I think because I'm level six at the time I think this is like level eight or nine and if you played origins and it's the same with Odyssey um, it's pretty she oh yeah this is actually something else like this is a war torn area so I think this is uh, an Athenian fort. And there's a Spartan camp from that town where I landed my ship. So that's why there's Spartans and Athenians. I think that's the right word. Athenians battling it out of the gate for a distraction. So I'm just running in. Check the fortress and then I'm going to check out kind of what the objectives are in the four like locations. So the only real difference is loot treasure kill, um, you know, captains, commanders and stuff like Origins. But as burn war supplies is like the only addition. But there's a few different like war supply ones where you can loot stuff and... Um, and then you just throw torches and burn the rest, I believe, if I remember correctly. I'm pretty sure I do everything in this fort bar kill the commanders, because it was too lower level, uh, and wasn't even going to, you know, waste my time attempting that with all the higher level guards around, so I was just focusing on sneaking, stealth, which works more or less exactly the same as Origins. You played Origins, stealth system. You played Odyssey's stealth system. Uh... So yeah, I was just scouring every inch with old mate, uh, not Senu here, um, what's his name, fucking bloody Icarus, that's the one, that's the word. I'm just literally trying to avoid all guards. Oh, yeah, so you can get supplies and stuff. Yeah, so I got some self leather iron metal. So that's for like ship upgrades, uh, trade items, things like that. So not all those pearl markers are just like supplies you gotta burn. Some of them are ones you gotta take as well. Because there's far more. I, I think they might even have different symbols on them. I'm not sure. They probably do. But I wasn't paying much attention while I was playing it. I was just kind of like going around and trying to take everything I could take because it was going to help not really anything when you think about it like there's a lot of things I was doing while playing this that I only would only make sense if it was my game and I was going to keep playing because I'm like oh well I need to get this equipment and this because I want to have for wait I'm not going to be playing this later like I only had it for a couple of hours so I did waste a lot of time with my OCD mentality of like well I've got to complete everything in this location before I leave because it matters for like my platinum trophy or like getting a all the game score so, well, it doesn't make sense, Tyler, because 
You're playing someone else's game and then never playing it again on your on until you get it on your device. Oh yes, got fucking caught here. What an asshole. What an asshole. So I'm just like, oh, I'm just gonna make you burn, bruh. Oh yeah, I couldn't find <laughs> the way in. I assume there must be somewhere around here. And there's a little gap. Yep. I don't think, maybe I didn't see it yet. Uh, surely. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Uh, Brazier's lit, reinforcements coming, as you do. Stock standard, same with Forts and Origins. Yeah, look, not big fans of me, these Athenians, for burning their supplies and stealing their shit. Even got a helmet here and some serious cash. I do like that element to it. If you're going to infiltrate a fort, surely you want, it's not just about going there to complete a location like an Origins. You want to gain loot and real supplies. And obviously you always open chests and stuff in, in forts and like Origins, but I mean like, I like those editions of the nation chests, I think they were called, just because they like actually have a significant amount of resources, equipment, money, things like that. Like that's way more useful to me and gives me a real reason to want to go into and complete that fortress. Not just because, oh, I just want to kill the commanders there and take two chests, you know? I want to fuck up their supplies, destroy their influence, because I believe there's like an influence meter as well, with like, whether it's a, an Athenian area or a Spartan area, because at this point you're a mercenary and I have no idea whether or not like you join a faction side or you're always just this independent, not involved in the war between Athens and Sparta, I don't know. That's my lack of knowledge and, and really paying attention to the marketing of this game. I only know what I've played, that's about it. Yeah, and I was bad. I wasn't even going to attempt to try to kill the commanders. I took all the chests, burned their supplies, and robbed them. But I wasn't going to bother with just killing the commanders. Screw that. So I just left. I was out of there. Done. See you later. I think I just head back to my ship now? Um, yeah, so at the end of this little video here, show a little, little bit of naval. I didn't do a lot of it. I didn't really upgrade anything. I checked the upgrade menu just to see what, like, was on offer. Um, I don't really remember it all that much, to be honest. Um, but, you know, there's a few things you can do to it, obviously. Mostly with crew, and just kind of like the amount of archers you've got, javelin throwers, uh, your ram, I think, gets upgraded. Yeah, I'm sure it does, so that makes sense. Like, one of your three attacks. There might be a, some extra thing, but I'm not sure. Uh, but the main addition that was necessary, because I didn't like the controls too much with naval and in Origins using the stick to steer, but it's great because once you're in open water and you, your old mate, your guy will be like, you're in open water, hit square, X, um, on Xbox, and then you do travel speed. So that's good. That way you don't really have to worry about, you know, anything other than just steering. So I just want to go check out like a shipwreck to see what one of these new symbols were. Which is just similar origins, you know. Get a location. And there's a couple of chests down there. And probably some, some deadly creatures that will stop you from taking those chests in the shipwreck. Because sharks are like, this is my gold chest and I need it. Somehow. Um, yeah. And the sharks are pretty massive, I believe. A bit ridiculous and fantastical. I mean, they look alright, but then again, you're all up that high, what's the actual, like, person to shark size? And the sea shanties are back if you haven't bloody heard yet. But there's no bully in the alley, ladies and gentlemen. It's no bully in the alley. From which one? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! So this ship's not happy at all.
thankfully, even though they're like a high ranked ship, we're a high level, so we're able to kind of slaughter them pretty quick, actually. Because honestly, I found it quite hard. If you were battling ships at the same level as you, it was pretty challenging. Uh, and easy to take lots of damage, whereas like, just two, being two levels above, I just slaughtered the ship the easiest I dealt with any of them. So with the um, arrows, you can shoot longer distance. With javelins, they're heavy shots, but it's only a short distance in close range. And then obviously the ram. I could um, board them at this point, but I really couldn't be fucked. And it's not like as many rewards I found as Black Flag gives you. Uh, with like resources, but you know, you got some stuff, obviously you saw um, some resources, money, and even a weapon. So yeah, that's a little bit of naval there at the end there, that's just some small portions of my time free roaming around Assassin's Creed Odyssey in the time I got to play. There'll be more of these videos coming soon in the future, I don't know if it'll be general random side activities, but there'll be side quests and side missions I'll put in videos as well as looking at the combat customization systems, things like that. Alright ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.